violence. Well, guys, I really don't want to talk about the Russia-Ukraine nonsense because everyone and their mothers talking about it constantly, as you likely know. But MPs in the UK media are trying to shut RT down. Yep, media freedom only counts when it's one of them, I guess, so it's worth talking about simply because the hypocrisy flowing out of our own media when it comes to accusations of spreading misinformation. Now, obviously, it goes without saying that I'm no fan of RT like I'm not a fan of the bloody BBC or Sky News, but I do always try to stand up for free speech when I can, and will always call out hypocritical tosspots when I spot them. Yes, of course, RT is a Russian propaganda channel like the BBC is meant to be a British propaganda channel, though it's more of an anti-British woke joke than anything else these days. My point is that is what they are. This does not mean that RT should be banned from the airways because if we're banning channels for spreading misinformation, I would say we have enough evidence to prove the UK media deliberately spread misinformation for the past two years relating to bat flu. At the end of the day, how many stories did this lot regurgitate despite them either being impossible or already proven bloody wrong? They spread around fear, doom and gloom that cost many thousands of lives using blatant misinformation but have the right to call out another media outlet for apparently spreading misinformation. Is it just me or does that sound hypocritical as fuck before we even get into their misinformation relating to the Russia-Ukraine situation now? At the end of the day, how many mainstream media images have been debunked so far at this point because I've seen a few my bloody self? And yes, for those idiots who don't know, these people in the media are literally using old pictures and shit claiming that they are current ones. So while I don't sit there watching or caring about Russia today, these calls for it to be shut down are not only against free speech, they're also as hypocritical as you can possibly get. Plus, we should also remember that at least RT had the balls to report on anti-lockdown protests over the past two years while the BBC and British media ignored it before smearing them and playing down the numbers the absolute scumbags. So, if RT is to be banned for misinformation, then surely the legacy media in this country would have to follow them, would it not? They ain't called the fake news media for nothing, are they? The past two years have proved that beyond any doubt. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>